Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to use Convey's extension for Omniverse to integrate real-time chatbots. To enable the extension, we go to the extension tab. Here we search for Convey and make sure that the extension is enabled. Once you enable the extension, the Convey window will pop up. You can simply drag and drop it wherever you like. Next, we need a Convey API key. This key will let us communicate with the chatbot. We can find the API key on the Convey website. It is present on the top right corner of the nav bar. We will copy the API key and going back to Omniverse, we can paste it over here. Next, we need a character ID. To obtain one, we need to create a character. We do that by going to Convey's website. Let's go to Character Creator tool and then start the tool. Here is a list of all the characters that has been created as well as some sample characters. For now, let's go with Shauna. Here is the character ID that we are looking for, so let's copy that. While we are here, let us also have a look at other features of the character. We have the character description, which is basically a backstory for the character. Changing it will change the character's personality. We can also choose a voice, whether male or female, from a variety of voices. Let us go back to Omniverse and paste the character ID. One thing to note is that this character is not only going to respond to a voice chat, but is also going to act based on inputs. Over here, we have defined some events for this character, like hello, jump, kick, spell cast, and dance. We'll go into more details in the action graph, but before that, let's actually give it a try first. Let's hit the play button so that we are in the interactive mode and we can start voice capture. Hello there, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Can you tell me something about yourself? I am Shauna, an AI-powered virtual assistant. I served in the army before becoming a nurse, and I know some martial arts. I also have many interesting hobbies, such as acrobatics and dancing. Oh, you know dancing? Can you show me one of your dance moves? Yes, I can definitely do a dance move for you. As you can see, she's constantly generating events, not only responses. Let's have a look at what is happening behind the scene in the action graph. We'll open the action graph and over here, you will find a bunch of events. These events are driving the animation using the action graphs. Here you will notice that there are events like jump, dance, hello, which are all the same events that we have specified here. When the character wants to perform some action like dance, it is going to call the dance event. Once it does call the dance event, it is going to the animation graph and will pass the value dance to the state variable. Let's have a sneak peek at the animation graph to see what it does. Here we have a state machine and inside the state machine, you will find the idle animation, which basically plays the idle animation over and over again. Whenever this variable state is equals to dance, it is going to travel through this arrow to dance animation until this condition is fulfilled. And this condition basically says that this state cannot change back to idle unless the animation has played 100% of itself. This is the whole idea behind how we drive the actions. An important thing to mention here is that idle and talk events are not specified over here. They are by default being called by the extension. So the extension expects at least two events, which are the idle and talk events. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or would like to try out this demo, feel free to contact support at convey.com. Thank you for watching.